In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply this photocopy scan lines effect in Photoshop. This is the photo I'll be working on. First, I'll convert it into a smart object, then duplicate it using Command plus J. On the top layer, I'll apply some blur by navigating to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. I'll set the angle to zero and adjust the distance to 104. Next, I'll add a mask, press D to reset the brush colors to black and white, and use black to paint over the subject's face to remove the blur from that area. Afterward, I'll select both layers, convert them into a single smart object, and open the filter gallery. I'll remove any existing filters and start fresh with the reticulation filter. The goal is to create a grainy look, so I'll tweak the density, foreground level, and background level accordingly. Then, I'll add another filter, half tone pattern. Set the pattern type to line and adjust the contrast while keeping the size small around one, two, or three. I'll revisit the reticulation settings to see how further adjustments impact the final result. When satisfied, I'll click OK to save the changes. The advantage of using smart objects is flexibility. I can modify the blur by double-clicking the smart object layer and adjusting the motion blur settings directly. Additionally, I can replace the original photo inside the smart object. After saving the changes, I'll just need to redraw the motion blur mask to match the new image. Finally, when I save and close, the photocopy scan line effect is seamlessly applied to the updated photo. Now that you've learned this, don't miss the video on the screen that YouTube is recommending just for you. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.